Okay, we got a little rain today, but how much did we benefit from it when it comes to easing the ongoing drought? NBC 4's Patrick Healy is live in North Hollywood where a new project aims to save the rain. Patrick. Well, Kathy, yeah, we did not get nearly as much rain as we'd hoped for today, but we are getting better at getting the most out of what we do get. And uh, this new project here on Victory Boulevard, a good example of that, this landscape depression in which we're standing, designed not only to look good, but also to capture rainfall, use it to bolster groundwater reserves, and also to lessen street flooding by the runoff that otherwise serves no useful purpose on its way to the ocean. Much needed rain, or at least showers, moving through Southern California today. But what a waste in concrete drainage channels. Otherwise, fresh runoff carrying trash and other pollutants eventually out to sea. Yes, there is a better way, and Esther Wu can show you. So water will be coming in this way, uh, along the gutters, and once it reaches that curb cut, it'll go into this bioswale. An engineer with LA Sanitation and Environment, Wu explaining to us the recently finished Project Green Street in North Hollywood along Victory Boulevard, east of Goodland, for which she serves as one of the project managers. Runoff captured here on the island with vegetation and in underground chambers below the roadway percolates through the soil and replenishes groundwater below that someday will be drinking water. Diverting water from the streets, um, the water would have otherwise went into storm drains, which leads directly into the LA River and straight into the ocean. Today's front did not bring enough rain to be much of a test for this new project, but Wu told us just this one, and more are coming, is designed to gather enough water to cover 100 acres a foot deep. Or putting it another way. That's about 50 Olympic-sized swimming pools per year of capture, and I'd say that's a significant amount. Indeed, with much of California back in drought, today's rainfall is not changing that, but is providing everyone with a yard easy opportunity to conserve water. The number one thing you can do to save water on a rainy day is to turn off your irrigation system. In response to rain, some homes have automatic systems to shut down the sprinklers. Resource specialist Krista Guerrero says the benefit can be extended. Because of the low temperatures that we have right now and the cooler weather, we don't need to water for at least the next few days. So we can leave those irrigation systems off for several days after today's rain. Obviously, rainfall capture projects cannot manufacture new water, but you know the old saying, a penny saved is a penny earned. A gallon saved here is a gallon that does not need to be imported from Northern California or the Colorado River or desalinated from the ocean. Live in North Hollywood, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News. We do know that old saying, Patrick. Thank you. It is not